we can... Oh. Ah! Welcome to Taskmaster. I'm Greg Davis and I am the Taskmaster. And I mean the real one, not the comic book villain that pops up when you Google me. We've both got our skills. He can mimic any fighting style. And I can take down an 18-inch pizza in one by unhooking my jaw like a mighty human snake. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> and I'm the only Taskmaster that wields power over trophy-hungry comedians. They are my fantastic five, and they are ready to save the world by being rubbish at tasks. So please welcome Dara Breen, <laughs> Ben Brady, John Kearns, Munya Chihuahua, and Sarah Millican. <laughs> and next to me is someone who I can be a little bit cruel to, but at the end of the day, I'm proud to call my best friend. <laughs> It's Trunky, the naughty elephant. <laughs> Love you, Trunky! And next to him, a wretched hairy weasel. Little Alex Hall! <laughs> what are we going to chat about this week? Well, I've got a really funny story. Mm. <laughs> you want to hear it? <laughs> yeah. Well, yesterday, I, um, I got a piggyback. Yep. Because I'd lent, I'd lent um, my piggy to my uncle, and then... <laughs> And then he gave, <laughs> gave it back to me. Gave you the piggyback to me. So I got my piggyback. <laughs> funny story. Prize task, then. What's the category? I'll tell you, Alex. It's the best thing you nearly keep throwing away but can't quite bring yourself to. I'll give five points for the best one and the winner of the episode will get to take them all home and keep them all forever. And that is how replaceable you are. <laughs> Munya! I have bought in... My first ever houseplant. Ooh, that bodes badly. <laughs> Go on. So, as we know, uh, a houseplant is a good metric of how much of an adult you are. You know, if you can keep a plant, you can keep a puppy. If you keep a puppy, you can keep a child. You know, it's like the Royal Marines advert. So... <laughs> I said to myself, if I can keep this alive, I'm going to be a better man. So I spent 40 quid. I named him Young Pablo. <laughs> he died after a week. <laughs> I realised that, kind of like your nan, if you move it about every once in a while, give it a bit of water, it won't completely die. So, <laughs> what I have managed to do is keep young Pablo alive for five years, but on the brink of death. Would you like to see young Pablo now? Someone is going to win this. <laughs> it's not about prize on a quiz. But it bodes well for your, for your future children. <laughs> Dara, can you beat a plant that's barely alive? Yeah, I can give you a thing that should be alive but is now dead uh, and is a section of my leg. <laughs> Very impressed. What do you mean? Uh, part of my leg broke off uh, during a football match and had to be removed and then they give it to you. Of your leg just snapped off. It broke off, and then because I'm nailed, uh, I <laughs> pushed it back in again and carried on playing. <laughs> Save my balls go up inside myself. Let's have a look at a bit of Dara's bone. Yeah. There you go. Oh, oh. strong Dara. Oh, by the way, I've kept my uh, tonsils. People do. Yeah. Yeah, they're still in, in my. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Fern? Uh, I want my house to look like something out of Architectural Digest and my boyfriend wants it to look like something out of Steptoe and Son. <laughs> so it's this dirty, disgusting tanker and he uses it to keep toothbrushes inside. <laughs> I have tried to sort of sneakily throw it out before. So if you do badly, I'm, I'm doing you a favour. Oh. Yeah, what happens if I do badly? Do you take it away it from me? It means if you do badly, <laughs> someone else gets to win it and keep it now. Yes, let's yeah. do that. <laughs> John. I bought in uh, Ulysses by James uh, Joyce. Joyce. I've had that for about 20 years. Never read it. <laughs> do you think tonally you've got this wrong? <laughs> <laughs> no, because 
It's the best piece of literature ever written, so it's one of the best things I've ever uh, seen. Yep. But I have ambition uh, to read it, so uh, I'll never throw it out. <laughs> I think I'm surprised, because I'm expecting this to be a twist. <laughs> <laughs> well, there might be. I haven't read it. I don't know. <laughs> 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 oh, thanks, Sarah. Hi. Can you definitely beat John's book? I don't know. That's up to you to decide. Oh, I um... already have. <laughs> <laughs> it's my husband's zombie. Here it is. Oh. <laughs> it's uh, six foot tall. <laughs> frightens the shit out of me <laughs> twice a week, maybe. <laughs> it's awful. Hey, Please take it away. Maybe you could clear a little room and let, let that be his special room. Right? It is in his special room. Oh. Um, it's called the zombie room. <laughs> <laughs> so it's hard to throw her away when she's in her own room. <laughs> well, Greg, it's quite a haul of prizes tonight for someone. Do you want me to go from John upwards or the other way? <laughs> Second book in a row, second one point in a row. Hello, John. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel pretty much the same uh, about a mug and a zombie. Three points each. OK, three points each to Fern and Sarah. That's right. And then I jump up. Oh. Unbelievably, I'm putting a half-dead plant in second place just because I liked all the flannel that went with it. And if anyone brings part of their body that just fell off them in, <laughs> I mean, for sympathy more than anything, they get five points. Five points to Dora Bree. There it is! <laughs> Right, what's lined up for the first task, Alex? Well, Greg, it's only the king of all stationary items. <sighs> Should we say it together? Yes. One, two, three... A, a laminator! laminator. <laughs> Can you see me? Yeah, there you are. Like, I feel like we should do like an action movie intro. What do you think? Yes, please. <laughs> what did I miss? Hold on, you. Say something like, you know, I'm glad you're here or something. Well, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> oh! Print, laminate, and distribute the most signs. Each of your signs must be placed on a different seat. And all your signs must have a different instruction. You have 20 minutes and your time starts now. How long does it take to laminate a sign? Or what size does the sign have to be? Is there a standard size for laminated signs? I used to work in my dad's office and he docked some of my wages because he had a laminating machine uh, and I laminated love letters to my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Fern, it feels like I probably shouldn't ask, but why were you laminating letters to your ex-boyfriend? They were love letters, and by laminating it, I felt like it showed that I really meant what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I agree. My family motto is print, laminate, distribute. <laughs> OK, let's go. Let's see. OK, well, first up, it's Fern, John and Dara. So we start off with a uh, simple one. Don't sit down. Turn your phone to silent. I mean, anything's an instruction, isn't it? It's just blanked out the document. Now the document's got a tiny font. <laughs> this is what? I don't... what? It's quite nice to look at fonts now and then. Yeah. What font have you gone for? I've always liked Georgia. Where's print? Um, where is a picture of a printer somewhere? Is, there, is that how these things work? So you're looking for a picture of a printer? I'm looking for a picture of a printer. Changes the diary invite. Who's print? I haven't seen some of these fonts since I was about ten. Joker man. Look at this. What's that thing middle-aged women have on signs? Lev, laugh. Jen. That's the size of the sign I just made. <laughs> I can't actually read it. What does it say? It says you have its instructions are quite clear. The instructions are on the sign. First sign, right, first sign, so there's a sign. It's not laminated! <sighs> right, wingdings. I 
feel so productive, even though this is very silly. Do these things separate? They separate! The factory is now open. Do you know what that says? Bums only. I can't remember what the other two meant. I don't remember typing leave your husband, so I've written some of these in a fugue state. Thank you, Dara. <sighs> Hold up. There's two that say warm your bum. That says warm your bum. <laughs> How have I done that in three times? Hello, Fern. Hello. That's for you as well. A little something extra. Obey all your signs. Highest percentage of signs obeyed wins. You have three minutes. Your time starts now. Good luck. Well, I can't. OK. Watch out for burglars. <gasps> burglars. I thought you were kidnappers. Well, that's your seat. So could you sit there? The Joker man's seat. So we'll wait for him to turn up. Eat 25 grams fibre a day starting from now. Where's my sandwich for lunch? Munchak deer. Oh, tigers. The Gruffalo. Yeah, I mean, I've walked straight into this now, haven't I? Because I, I don't remember what that says. <laughs> Breathe. <gasps> Warm your bum. Warm your bum. Get your arse off. This is not on this. Here come the police. Run away. Leave your husband. Oh, I'm not married. Run. Warm your bum. I'm typing in the word bum because I remember writing. <laughs> Right, you've got 38 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't, that is not... It changed. it changed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it changes. So I've done them all. You finished? This is the old Toby thing not to do with the watch out for stuff. Come on, check the I, de well, I definitely wrote home. Right, that's bollocks. That apparently is home in Wingdings. You've got one minute well, left. I can't do this instruction. What does it say? Poo in your pants. <laughs> that's the problem. Whoa. This, it'll come out, won't it? <laughs> What's the word? Would it bifurcate into two separate poos? You've got five seconds, John. Yep. <laughs> Done. John, I put it to you, uh, you're not in this for the win. <laughs> I think Wingdings changes every time you use it. I don't think that can be true. That's true. That's, that's the Enigma machine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Joker man's seat, is that an instruction? Uh, the, the, <laughs> the task didn't say the signs had to be instructions. No, it's exactly what it said. Yes. <laughs> There's quite a, uh, an arse theme within your response. Fern, you warmed your bum three times, successfully, <laughs> and then you said a word that I wasn't aware of. Mm. Bifurcation. Yeah. <laughs> did you know about bifurcation? I did know about bifurcation. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You went to Cambridge. I went to a college. So... <laughs> uh, Dara. Yes. What I wrote down is Dara's reaction to seeing high-value kidnappers, <laughs> tigers, the gruffalo, <laughs> is identical. <laughs> <laughs> Dara looked like he did a lot, but it's percentage, isn't it? It's percentage. Dara did all 100% of his. He did 25 out of 25. Fern managed to do 75% of her instructions. John, sort of half. I couldn't read half of them, man. <laughs> there are two people left. One is a human called Sarah, the other is a chihuahua called Manya. Here we go. <laughs> all right, so this should be fairly easy. This technology is just, like, breathing to me. Print. Ooh! We're off. Oh, I like the smell. Go on, then. You don't need to press anything. Yeah, well, who out of both of us is likely to know more about technology? It's not doing much, is it? Oh, right, at least put some of this on it. Oh. This is stressful. Why is yeah. it sweating? Get that back out. <laughs> Thank God for that. 
So this is your very first lamination, is it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might... Is it the best day of my life? There's got to be some sort of fast setting on this. <laughs> why, why would they have a fast setting? Well, because in case you're in a rush. <laughs> there you go. Do you think the other guys would have already laminated? Can you imagine Munya laminating? No. Where did you get this thing from, man? Look at what it's done to my sign. I think you might have broken it when you pulled the thing through. Wow. How long have I got left? You've got 30 seconds. <gasps> Come on! Faster, faster, faster! Oh, my <laughs> Lord! No, what's... is there more? Or be all of your <laughs> All right. Alex stinks. Agree. I agree, Alex stinks. Number one, go! Walk out of the door. There's a doorway. Live. Doing it. Laugh. <laughs> be lame. I mean, come on. Walk out the door. Turn around. <laughs> oh, I feel dizzy. Be healthy, my bro. One, two. Leave. Sod off. This is go away. This is bugger off. Well, I did everything. 100%, you think? Yeah. Do we eat that? Not eat that. <laughs> Take your pants off. No way. Imagine that on the telly. Done. Munya, with the wisdom of hindsight, would you say that the sentence, technology is like breathing to me, <laughs> that the confidence there was misplaced? No, because the thing is, it was ages, because I know to you guys, a laminate is like a PS5, but for me, <laughs> I'm used to the more, you know, the nippy stuff. Can I ask a question? What's a PS5? <laughs> <laughs> PlayStation. Oh, for children, yep. It's like a... <laughs> <laughs> So what you did, Sarah, was uh, an extended mega mix of I Will Survive, the song. Started off that way, yeah. just because I was trying to think of quick instructions. Yeah, but it's nice, because Gloria Gaynor should have been more aggressive. She should have said, go on, bugger off. <laughs> Sarah did a healthy number of instructions, 14, and obeyed 91% of them, because she did not take her pants off. She did not take her no, pants off. No, didn't have off. me on, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas Munya managed to laminate nine signs, he then obeyed all nine. There's two sets of scores, one for the amount of signs and one for the percentage obeyed. In the first half, John gets one point for his measly seven signs, two to Manya, three for Sarah, four for Fern, five for Dara. And then, in terms of percentage obeyed, again, John, only one point. <laughs> <laughs> two for Fern, three for Sarah, but Manya and Dara both get five points because they both obeyed 100% of their signs. So that's how the scoring works. <laughs> Should we have a look at the scoreboard? Yes. Well, unbelievably, John is at the bottom of the scoreboard with just three points. The leader has five times as many as him. That's Dara with 15 points. Whoa! <laughs> I'd like another task, please. Yes, of course. And it's time to get your diving gear on and then go delving for grapes. This is a lovely location. Are you left-handed or right-handed, John? <laughs> right-handed. <gasps> Put your hand right in there, please. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> there we go. Well, it's all yours. Good luck. <laughs> oh, no! And now I'll open the task? Yes, please. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> Christ, here we go. Am I meant to read it with these on? Yeah, I can give you a hand if you want. Yeah, that'd be fab. That's fantastic. Just lay that down for me. Would you just do that last bit now? Oh, sure, yeah. It's quite easy. Just pop it open. Can I take them off? Before the task, yeah, if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put five grapes in the little bowl. You've got five minutes. You must wear the flippers as gloves for the entire five minutes. The most flour still on the plate after five minutes wins. Your time starts now. 
Come on, let's crack on. Yeah, it's an old sort of grandmother's game. We used to play this with my grand, but instead of flour, she used um, butter. And instead of grapes, wasps. And instead of flippers, we had to use our eyelids. And we're going to start <laughs> with some good old-fashioned s and &M. It's Sarah and Munya. Here we go. <laughs> Nothing under the table. Aha! Uh -huh. Because the thing is, you want me to dig into the flower. I can see there's a little grape holder underneath. It's a messy one, though. Yay! Mm. Oh, there's no grapes in there. Crap. No grapes in the grape holder. Oh. What happens if they drop with the grapes on the floor? Nothing. All the information on the task. It's covered in flour now, look. OK, right, right, right. I'm just going to get all the flour off. Different tactic. I can't tell if this is the worst idea you've ever seen or if I'm actually a genius. Right now, one grape. <laughs> this is how I cook. <laughs> like that. One grape. Two. Boom. Quick, 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 quick. Two grapes. Thanks. Three grapes. Do you know what I've just realised? Because it's most flower wind, isn't it? There's another little bugger. There he is. Hello. Hello. Five grapes. Right, so now all I need to do is get all the flour back on the plate. Where is the plate? Here. Uh, do I have to do anything else? I'm going to pour the table over it. Great. <laughs> ah! Uh, flour. 45 seconds. Yes! More flour left. Oh, no! Should have read that. Should have covered it in flour. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Pleasure. Five nice grapes. You can leave whenever you like. You can leave the garage now. All right. Oh, so push. Oh, yeah. push. Ow. oh, look at all these grapes. Oh. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Fuck that one up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so it was get five grapes in the bowl, but it's measuring the amount of flour that's still on the plate afterwards. And Munya had 2,514 grams. Sarah, just 900 grams of flour. Who's next? Next up, it's fern time and it's kern time. Are they hidden in the ceiling? Is there grapes behind me or something? <laughs> just got to go like that, don't you? Pan for grapes. I mean, they're not, they're not like... They could be... Yeah, alright. <laughs> they could have been under there. Well, hang on. Just go. Have... <laughs> One grape. <laughs> Huge regrets. One grape. Yes. This is like doing surgery, isn't it? A lot of surgeons are alcoholics, so it probably feels like they have big hands on an especially pissed day. Two grapes. Mm-hmm. They're doing it on an old person because they're very dry and desiccated, so their bodies are just like flour. <laughs> <laughs> You've got one minute 45 left, then. Come on, we got to save this old person! <laughs> <laughs> You're still one grape short. No, I'm trying to find it. I can put flour back on the plate, can't I? OK. That's the idea. Uh, Ten seconds. No! I need a bit of moisture. I'm too tired to keep going. She's gone. I did everything I could, though. Let me out. Ooh. Some interesting statistics about the medical community firm. 
because sometimes if a task felt boring, I had to pretend I was helping a person or an animal to get through it. <laughs> this one, it made sense to pretend I was operating on an old person. Yeah. <laughs> and to be fully stuff. emotionally engaged with their death as yeah. well. <laughs> their poor, desiccated skin falling away. <laughs> John, I hate to repeat the questions I ask you, but um, I, are you not wanting to win any of it? <laughs> I just... <laughs> I, I yeah, just... But what, yeah, but what... <laughs> yeah, what that picture doesn't show is that I've got flippers for fucking hands. <laughs> <laughs> he did pretty well. He got nearly two kilograms of flour on the plate at the end, twice as much as Sarah. Oh, I do apologise, John. One person left to see, and it's Dara O'Brien. If there's some sense of where they were, that would be a help. Is there any way in which I can do this in a way which is salvageable? Um... Oh, no! Oh, it's on a cup! Oh, that's not nice. OK, hang on, let me just do this, right? Somewhere within this, there's still grapes. I, are there grapes? Would somebody lie about the grapes? Oh, that would be the worst thing in the world. <laughs> oh. Put five grapes in a little bowl, you have five minutes. Can I go to the kitchen, please? OK. Ah, that's also me! <laughs> Grapes, 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 I went on such a journey, journey. <laughs> he was trying to work it out, and then, from the arrogant flick of the egg cup onto the floor onwards, he became a supervillain. <laughs> he actually went... <laughs> <laughs> at one point, because he worked it out. <laughs> Brilliant. I don't know how he didn't notice the grapes which were this far <laughs> from his eyes. But he was too busy laughing into the night sky. <laughs> <laughs> Scoring-wise, Fern... Didn't get five grapes, so does she get any points? Oh. She was so tired. <laughs> well, she was in there for five minutes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all I did? Oh, no. She didn't fulfil the task, she can't have any points. OK, so zero to Fern. Yeah. Oh. Sarah came fourth, so gets two points. John is third, mm. so gets three points. I can tell you, Munya, 2,514 grams. Dara, 2,000. 903 wow. grams. So Dara gets a five point. That's it. One more, I think. Yes, and this one involves something you've broken a lot of, Greg, running machines. <laughs> Let's go. Hello, Fern. Hiya. Got your buckets? Yeah. You look nice. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, get ready to receive the task. Meet me. Are you acting? Sorry, the ducks and socks. Ducks go in the front bucket, obviously. Socks go in the back bucket. Ducks, socks, ducks, socks. All ducks and socks must travel along both treadmills, then fall directly into the correct bucket. If a duck or sock lands on the floor, you may not retrieve it. I'm not sure I could get down with these on. <laughs> Most ducks and socks in correct bucket wins. 
there is a pair of bonus points. Oh, a proper points for the most correctly paired socks. You have 15 minutes. Your time starts now. Duck socks. It's a bog standard game of double bucket, duck and sock. Yes, it is. I propose that we just get going. Well, first we're going to see the self-proclaimed task mistress, Fern Brady, and the self-proclaimed John Kearns. John Kearns, here we go. <laughs> Where are the ducks and socks? Not far off. Right. So yeah. you've got to run round. Well, I, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Well... Well, there's a the duck. Does this count? Yeah, I guess so. One. And... You... <sighs> wow! Box in the front. Shit! <laughs> ah, yeah, so that's a pair. Yeah. Well, what dropped then? Did you hear that? Yeah. Well, what dropped? What the fuck's in there? <laughs> you... <gasps> They're not hidden. Oh, but they are, though. Well... Are they in the bath? Oh, no! There's a duck in the sock! Oh, smoothie! You can't buy them that small. Right. Come on! Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I'm not bad at this, that's the thing. Mm. Oh, hang on. Can I slow it down? Here we go! Three and a half minutes left, John. Oh, they all died. Would you like to see me get a sock and a duck? One, two. I would love that. Come on. Crack on with it. You absolute wanker! Oh, well. Oh. Oh. oh, no! Really? <laughs> There's only socks in that one. Yes. And there's only socks in that one. There's a duck in that one, there will be. Oh, one duck, one duck. I wrote some quotes down that you said during your attempt. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Did you hear that? Well, what dropped? <laughs> you can't even buy them that small. You mean you can't buy them that small? <laughs> well, I bought my son one uh, a month ago. But did you try and get a really small one? <laughs> Did you do but extensive no, research into the smallest duck you can buy? There is only one size of duck. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck they were. <laughs> I'd have looked mad if I'd gone up to the pharmacist and gone, sorry, pharmacist? do you have... Pharmacist? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you buying your ducks? In the pharmacy. <laughs> Why are you buying ducks in the pharmacy? <laughs> well, where else do you buy them? <laughs> At least John found the ducks very quickly, whereas Fern thought we'd hidden the ducks and the socks, and she put a crown on and said she was the mother of the ducks. Yeah. <laughs> I did create a narrative uh, where I was the mother of the ducks, saving them. And some of them died. <laughs> some of them died, yes. Yeah. But most of them were rescued. Yeah, she did rescue 44 ducks in her duck bucket. OK. And 13 socks. So she had a total of 57 things in her bucket. Wow. John, nine socks, one duck, no pairs. <laughs> <laughs> OK, two more duck and sock sorters now. It's Munya and Sarah. Are they all in here? Right, we'll start with the ducks. <laughs> oh, no, you put them inside! The ducks inside the socks! Oh, this is going to take ages! Them. Ah! Right, we're going to move on to socks now. Great. Hold on. I can't see my pockets because of my tits. <laughs> Sorry. You can't see your can't pockets. I can't see my pockets. Because, yeah. What the hell? I didn't get any in. 
if they fall on the floor, then you're not allowed to pick them up. Correct. Oh, well. Why don't a table better? <sighs> Quick! How many did I get? One. Well, the joke's on you, because I get to go again. How long have I got left, please? You haven't got long. Two and a half minutes. I didn't ask for an opinion, I just asked right. for a time. So no more opinions. <laughs> sock bomb, sock bomb. This is how I used to make footballs in Zimbabwe. Oh, no. Hold on, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. <laughs> I mean, if I'm honest, I don't know what I thought, because all I can hear is uh, I can't see my pockets because of my tits. <laughs> it happens more often than you'd think. Well, I've got a similar problem. <laughs> the uh, Zimbabwe sock football was a colossal failure. Well, it did lead to a disaster of many ducks falling out as he fell in. So, I should have been good at that task, because when I was a kid, I used to practice balancing in the in the bath by covering it in Vaseline. So, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so you you cover the bath in Vaseline and then you see how long you can stand up for. It's, it's a game. So what? You never played games in the bath? Yeah, I played games. <laughs> like, like what kind? You know. That's not a game. What you're thinking? That's not a game. See if you can use elastic bands to make it look like a submarine. <laughs> There's still one person left to see. So here we go. It's the host of Sock the Beak. It's Dara O'Brien. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Whoa! Now, also the key is to pair up the socks before you send them down. Oh, this is not the fun bit. Oh, I want the fun bit. Whoa, here we go, here we go. Can we put a bag of ducks down? A bag for ducks? Can I get a bag, please? There's an element of gamble to this. If this goes wrong, this is calamitous. Oh, Lincoln! Same with plastic bags. Wow, they all paired. They're all paired. This is a big moment. How do you want me to do this? Two or three references to um, just wanting to get on with the fun bit. The kneeling on the ground, taking ducks from socks, that's not fun. That's, that's not fun, fun at all. <laughs> that's a non fun thing. Watching the ducks go on two treadmills, I could have done that all day. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me with some numbers. Well, obviously, John, in last place, one point. Fern got a total of 57. Sarah, 58. So she's in third place. Money got 37 socks compared to Dara's 28, but the ducks fell out. So we only ended up with 29 ducks compared to Dara, 63 ducks. What's more, Dara was the only person who paired more than two socks. He paired a total of 28 socks, 14 pairs. So he gets two bonus points as well. So that's seven points in total to Dara Green. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. OK, it's time for you all to head to the stage for the final task of the show! <laughs> Raise the curtain! Alex, who's going to read the task out? Sarah Millican is going to read the task out. Commence. Make the taskmaster say your words. Each team will ask one question at a time, and each question must be made up of exactly six words. Also, each team member must take it in turns to say two words of each question. First to make the taskmaster say your word wins. Dora, which of these would you like to be your first word? This one, you take that one, please. Thank you. You can show it to your team and you can show it to the audience. So that one is for this team. Sarah, you're going to go first. Thank you. You cannot talk tactics with your teammate at all, but it is a team task. OK, so we're going to start with a team of three. Dora will commence the question. Here we go. Good luck. What wriggles... N... Oh, Greg's. <laughs> John, to complete the question. Muddy garden. 
<laughs> what wriggles in Greg's muddy garden? Worm. <gasps> so, very good. So, to stop this team winning round one, you need to get it in one. Good luck. What breakfast... ..is long... <laughs> ..and meaty? <laughs> Sausage. <laughs> OK, so round one is a tie. We moved to round two. We're going to go slightly harder words. There we go. So this time, let's start with a team of two. Munya, you're going to kick off the question. Can you... <laughs> no, no, no more words. Lesson erection. <laughs> Please finish off the question, Munya. <laughs> Until it's... Right, well, that's the end of the question. Greg, the question is, can you lessen erection until it's... Soft. Oh. Not right. Your turn, team of three. How would... You describe... Enormous hugeness. <laughs> Massive. <gasps> yep. So the team of three win round two. It's currently 2-1. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. John, you're going to start the question this time. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> not to. I wish not to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, somehow turn this into a question, please, Dara. <laughs> and also, make it relevant to the word somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Ascend vertically. So the question is, <laughs> I wish not to ascend vertically. <laughs> Descend? It's weirdly not right, so it's <laughs> Sarah to start. What trousers do farmers <laughs> wear now? <laughs> well, it's either, just to tee it up, it's either dungarees or overall. <laughs> overall. You've gone for overall, it's not right. So it's a team of three again. Which aircraft crashes more? <laughs> John, would you mind finishing off the question? <laughs> Into mountains. <laughs> Helicopter. <laughs> wow. So, this is to draw this round. Not overalls. <laughs> so it <laughs> must be. <laughs> so the team of three win three, the team of two win two. Marvellous. Let's put that to the final scores. Come down and join me. <laughs> easy one to score. The team of three got three points, the team of two got two points. Are you happy with that? Yes, please. That's nice and easy, but it does mean the final scores... It's a clean sweep, a huge 30 points in one episode, and that's, of course, Mr. Dara O'Brien. There it is! <laughs> Dara wins! Please. Please go and gather your things, never to be thrown away! <laughs> so, what have we learned today? We've learned that people come in different shapes and sizes, but not ducks. No, ducks come in one size and one size only. And if you've got an issue with that fact, you better speak to this guy. <laughs> Bye-bye, everyone. You can go now, but don't forget who won tonight. It was Dara O'Brien! <laughs>
more Taskmaster, subscribe now.